episode of Toy Box Movie Reviews is brought to you by Eternal Curse. Not a fan of either romance or fantasy stories, Toy Thomas's debut novel Eternal Curse combined these two styles to hold my attention from beginning to end. Author Neil James. Eternal Curse is the story of a man who may just be the answer to a spiritual war swiftly heading his way, but for now, he just wants to be a man. Eternal Curse Giovanni's Angel, available online and wherever books are sold. Hi there, it's Toy Thomas, and this is the third week of the month, so I am proud to welcome you back to Toy Box Movie Reviews. Today I'll be reviewing the film <laughs> Safety Not Guaranteed. Um, the review will consist of me asking myself 10 questions and answering them to the best of my ability. Also, um, my voice is a bit raspy. I've been fighting some symptoms, so hopefully I can make it through this recording. So let's get started. First, what is this film about? A lost girl looking to be found? There's a young woman who's melancholy all the time and working as an intern for a magazine. When one of the reporters pitches the story of a small town man who may be a time traveler or simply crazy, Darius is secretly excited to have been recruited. She just wants to get away for a while. When no one else besides Darius is able to get close to the local Kenneth, Darius must take on the role of double agent in order to crack the case. All that happens afterwards is either hilarious or weird. Next, what did I think of the title, poster, and or trailer? I remember seeing the trailer and thinking the same thing that the characters in the movies are thinking. Is this for real? I must admit though that I was intrigued. While I didn't see this in theaters, I did rush to get it on DVD when it was released. As far as the poster goes, I didn't like the original one. It looks much too dark for the actual film that it's promoting. I prefer the updated poster which has splashes of yellow and the faces of the actors playing the parts are displayed. So what did I think of the main characters and the actors who performed them? Well, I fell in love with this cast. I was already vaguely familiar with some of their collective works, but I hadn't really become a fan. Um, since seeing the movie, I can't seem to stop laughing every time I think of Jake Johnson and whether or not he's on New Girl. Um, not a huge fan of the show The League for some very personal and awkward reasons, I was happy to see Duplass in this complicated role. His character representation of Kenneth was both vulnerable and strong at the same time. I like Aubrey Plaza and hope to see her career grow. Her style has been coined as deadpan comedy, so whatever that is, I guess I like that. Uh, she seems perfect for this part. She reminds me greatly of the MTV cartoon Daria that was inspired by Mike Judd and later created and developed by Glenn Elcher and Susie Lewis. I don't know if it's really a good thing to compare a real person to a cartoon, but that's how I see her. Um, hopefully as her career goes, I'll see her differently. What did I think of the direction and cinematography? I don't know if it was in my head, but it seemed to me that the camera swayed a lot in this film. But what's even crazier is that I kind of liked it. It gave me the feeling that everything happening was being viewed through the eyes of some wallflower that was just enjoying the entertainment. I'm new to the work of director Colin Trevorrow. Took me a while to get that. Um, but after the success of this film, I'm sure I'll have more opportunities to learn about him. So what did I think of the soundtrack and score? I admit that I don't remember the music from this film in a distinct way. I do remember thinking that some of it was sad or sweet in places and some of it was playful in others. I think I remember a song that might be called Brick by Brick, but... I really should have done some research. So I guess in the future I'll have to be more mindful of what I'm hearing while I'm watching in order to better answer this question. What did I like about the story as a whole? Well, 
I really liked this film and the story it told, but I must admit that this wasn't some experience that I'll just never forget. It was entertaining, and what's better than being entertained for a little while? The story is a little hard to accept even once you reach the end. You're left wondering, did they or didn't they? Even though I'm not a fan of cliffhangers, I find that I am oddly appreciative of stories that are open to interpretation. Each viewer gets to decide for themselves what really happened. Okay, what did I not like about the story? I didn't like the fact that uh, Jeff decides to drown his self-inflicted sorrows by getting drunk and making it his life's mission to get Arno laid. Um, while the motivation behind this is just irritating, as if men can't think in anything but yes sex and no sex, what ensued was actually quite comical. Would I recommend this movie to others? Yes, but I would be cautious. If so, who and what would I rate this movie? This film isn't going to appeal to the masses per se. It's already developed a cult status, but there are still many out there who are properly programmed to only like mainstream big Hollywood features. Um, there's no sense in trying to sell someone a prized pig if what they want is a cow. So I would keep that in mind before making a re recommendation. Personally, I like this film, and on a scale of 1 to 5 movie reels, I give this film 4 movie reels. And lastly, was there anything in this movie that could be related to me or anything that I've written? While the story is quirky and funny and has some loose connections to sci-fi with themes of time travel, there are also some very serious moments. Learning about the death of Darius's mother almost slows the movie down to a stop, but then it quickly picks back up. I think sometimes I do that in my writing. I deliver a shock or even perhaps a death that slows things down, only to keep moving on to the next challenge. So that kind of seemed like a mouthful, but hopefully it wasn't too painful. That's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this review of Safety Not Guaranteed by Toy Box Reviews. And hopefully you'll join me again down the road. In the comments below, please tell me what you think of this film. What would you have rated it? Share with me one of your favorite lines or scenes from the movie. Mine is when Jeff is driving a go-kart, uh, smoking a cigarette, crying incessantly and trying to drink liquor all at the same time. Um, obviously he's made, he, re he realizes that he's made some bad choices in his life. Also, uh, next, my next Toy Box movie review will be Burn After Reading. Have you seen this film? Even if you haven't, you can follow me on Twitter and tell me what you think about it using the hashtag Toy Box Movies and you'll have a chance to be featured in my next episode. On Monday, I'll be posting an episode of My Command Station. This one's different, but not quirky as some of my other shows. I think it'll be good. You should check it out. And remember, if you're ever interested in guest hosting or sponsoring a Toy Box webisode, just visit etoythomas.com to learn more. So, until next time, this is Toy Thomas saying, I think authors are just as important to the world of entertainment as music groups and movie stars. See ya.